Football in West Kilbride has had a proud history. We have the West Kilbride amateurs and in the children's pathway we have the West Kilbride deltas and the Colts and West Kilbride girls football club. West Kilbride amateurs are a long established club. They were established in 1947 and we just recently held our 75th anniversary. West Kilbride amateurs have gained many achievements, getting to the final of the Scottish Cup in amateur football and winning the West of Scotland Cup. Being a member of the Deltas is more than just being in a football team. The kids I've noticed call themselves the Deltas, which is really important. Team sports is very important. It brings people together. It gives you an opportunity to win together, to lose together, to build friendships to have fun, all in an environment that's safe. You're meeting new people all the time. You're developing new friendships. I've bumped into people that I have played football with years ago, and we still have a good chat and a good laugh. There is definitely a community, a feeling of belonging between the children, and you notice that, and even as you go about the village, you see them playing together, approaching me as their coach and other coaches eh, to chat to them, a feeling of togetherness, of community. Sometimes I'm asked why do I volunteer and where do I get my time and where do I get my energy and actually I feel very passionate about helping young children find that spark within themselves. Not all children are academic but a lot of them can find something in sport that ignites a passion in them and so as a volunteer and a coach to provide that to a child is something so special it's hard to describe. You'll get so much benefit out of playing football. You'll get a feeling of belonging. You'll get a feeling of joy and learning new things. You'll get camaraderie with your teammates. You will obviously, hopefully, get fitter the more you play. You'll hopefully get better the more you train. And on top of that, you will get mental health benefits I think it's very important at West Kilbride that we are inclusive and by providing opportunities for all to play whatever sport, no matter their gender, ability, disability and age. By having the separate girls football club here in West Kilbride, it's allowed girls to come at any stage and try it, who possibly would never have tried football before. There's been a massive shift in terms of the amount of girls who are playing, so therefore the amount of teams that are required in local areas. Um, now there are, it would be uncommon for you to walk past a facility like this here at Cowinnan and see a, a girls game on. Um, for me, I was the only girl at that age who played in amongst a boys team. Um, so now to be able to see the opportunities that girls have to, to be part of a team. The interest in football in West Kilbride is, is developing rapidly. Football is a, a massive game, um, obviously it's a, a national game in Scotland um, and the girls and women's game has grown massively. Um, I think it's the fastest growing sport in the world at the moment. Women's football now is becoming absolutely enormous. The rate that it's grown at is just huge. In girls football there's so many different levels and recently we participated in a tournament that we were able to take two teams. So West Kilbride Primary was actually the only school that took two teams, so that shows the interest in girls' football here. The facilities at West Kilbride just now are not enough. enough, enough. All we currently have is the 11 aside grass football pitch at the Glen. With all the teams playing on it, it's taking quite a severe hammering. The grass pitch is restricted by weather. It's in the Glen, which is often waterlogged as it's right next to a river. We don't have the facilities with floodlights, so the problem with that is we can't play football after a certain time. With girls football, we play like straight after school and even into December we then had to like cut short our time because it got too dark to have the girls playing without floodlights. You couldn't do it if you didn't have the facilities available. Our amateur team is paying nearly £85 a week to book and train on an AstroTurf surface out with West Kilbride. We're having to travel maybe 12 miles to get to an AstroTurf surface with lighting. West Kilbride, as far as I'm aware, is the only area 
in Ayrshire that does not have access to a proper synthetic pitch. We talk a lot about football in West Kilbride and that's because we have a lot of football teams and there's a passion there. But we have other um, teams and clubs that could also use the facilities. People sometimes laugh when they observe walking football, but strictly speaking, walking football means no running. When I took early retirement in, in Largs, I'd heard about walking football throughout the country. So I came up to Inverclyde Sports Centre, asked if they would try it, and uh, it was founded uh, five years ago. And we've gone from having a dozen guys playing once a week to we have about 44 people on our list. Netball is both an indoor and an outdoor sport and in the past um, the West Cobride Netball Club played outdoors on a tennis club down at the Seamill Hydro but when they built their extension the facility went and there's nowhere to play now and there was up to 30 people, uh, women, would turn up um, and senior pupils and play netball and enjoy it and it's a good escapism away from the rest of their lives. You know one of the great things but walking football is that guys who have had heart attacks, they've had stents put in, they've had strokes, can come and be active again. I used to bring someone up here who had Alzheimer's. Now, to be quite honest, he didn't know which way he was kicking, but he always said to me, Drew, this is fantastic. The good thing about netball as well is that we basically we just need the courts lined and posts put away that could be brought out and put back and so it's quite an easy court to set up and knowing that there was this club there before it could definitely be set up again. So netball is definitely a sport that has thrived in West Kilbride in the past and will thrive again with the correct facility. Do you know that this year uh, Walking Football Scotland which is affiliated to the SFA, they had 750 players at the Scottish Cup Festival at Glasgow Green. That included women's teams, incidentally. So it's, it's really a, a fast growing sport. It's absolutely crucial that we have an appropriate synthetic part to enable our children and all the teams in West Kilbride to properly train and play. I believe by having more facilities here, it provides so many opportunities for all members of our community here. Um, and having more pitches allows different activities to happen at the same time. The facility of one grass pitch just will not survive a growth in team and in use. And a synthetic pitch of appropriate standard, of appropriate size, with appropriate flood lighting, is crucial to enable football to grow, which in turn will in ensure that we have fitter children, we have mentally more robust children, and that there is a growth in the community of all ages, from the youngest children to the oldest person like me. West Kilbride as a community is a fantastic place to live and we have these excellent tennis courts in the Glen and to envisage having an AstroTurf there that can be accessed by all ages, all members of our community is just fantastic.